this matter does not want to go away. There was a time that we heard that uh, INEC has official, officially have a 21 voter registration centers in Niger Republic. And a Facebook user, Uche Uwabuike, claimed that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, officially has 21 voters registration units in Niger Republic. Niger Republic. And meanwhile, the INEC has come out to say, oh, it is not true. You know, they always debunk it. The federal government told us that they gave us a one, gave 1.1 billion naira cars to Niger Republic. One of the ministers said, eh, yes, eh, we did that. Eh, don't you know that eh, we gave eh, donkeys and what have you to these people before, eh, to Nigeria? We helped them during Biafra, this and this and that. So, and that is the reason why we are, If even if Nigeria gives us eh, whatever gifts, you know, they are entitled to it. All of a sudden, the president came out, the Nigeria Republic president came out and said, no, we didn't receive anything from them, oh, that it was only uh, Zamfara State that gave them some healers. And you begin to wonder. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance came out and said, oh, it is normal, it is this. They accepted that. So how do you believe this kind of a people? And when you will always know that there is this uh, children or uh, underage uh, voters in the north, the last time we learned that they always bring them from a uh, Niger Republic, from all this a uh, child and what have you, because they are neighboring countries. And to make matter worse, again, that is why I said this matter came up sometime two months ago and they debunked it that it is not true. And now there's this back and forth between the Niger Republic and the Nigerian government. Recently, the chief of staff to President Gambari is telling us now that a uh, Nigeria and a uh, Niger Republic and Chad, that they are part of Nigeria. So now, where how do you now, as, as do you want Nigerians to believe that a uh, INEC does not have a center there? Because if the man is telling us, the chief of staff is telling us that a uh, Chad, Niger Republic are the same. They are part of Nigeria, and people who said that INEC has a twenty-one voters registration centers in Niger Republic, Republic, then are you going to be doubting that? These are the things we are talking about because they will still come and contradict themselves. They will contradict themselves. Commenting on a post on the Sahara Reporters page, the user said there are officially 21 INEC voters registration units in Niger Republic. Since when the Nigerian constitution permits for election to be conducted in foreign soil? The question is as you know, it's as simple because the chief of staff now, that question that the person asks. The chief of staff is now confirming it, that they are part of Nigeria. That those countries are part of Nigeria. In what way? Because Buhari told us that his cousins are there. And we can see a lot of things that they are doing. Using Nigeria money to do in that particular uh, uh, countries. Yeah. Why is the mainstream media houses in Nigeria silent about this? Are they also accomplices to this madness? Shame on investigative journalism in Nigeria. Going by the claim that the voter registration units in Niger was official, PR Nigeria soft the official website of INEC, which has 176,846 listed polling units in the country distributed across Nigeria's geopolitical spread and none outside the country. PR Nigeria further undertook a keyword search of the relevant terms, including INEC and Niger Republic voter centers. On Google and found there was no related news about Niger Republic. So they will go and put it there. Can you imagine what, what these people are saying? Well, that's a found there was no related news about Niger Republic having INEC centers either in Nigerian, Nigerian or Nigerian media rather search results lead to INEC official websites. Speaking directly to the PR. Nigeria on the claim, INEX Press Secretary Mr. Rutimi Uyekomi Uye debunked the claim. There are 176,846 polling units within Nigeria and none outside the country, he emphasized. He went ahead to share infographics detailing INEC voter registration spread across the country with PR Nigeria via WhatsApp. <laughs> Okay, of course, now they are always telling lies. By the time it will happen, they will say eh, it does not matter. The question I even want to ask, I'm even asking, and nobody is even saying anything concerning that 
the manner at which uh, these uh, bandits and the terrorists are really and Boko Haram are really gaining hands again is how did they bring their nobody saying anything about it how did they get their weapons where did they pass how did they get their weapons and most of the time the government will come and tell us that uh, the we have a repentance uh, Boko Haram. oh they will tell you maybe they have six thousand people that have surrendered but they will never show us that these guys surrendered where are their weapons I've never seen any day. The only people you hear, they say, oh, they stormed the security men, stormed IPOB uh, camp. They recover this, they recover that. But you will never hear them recover anything from the repentance book around. Oh, they just left their, meaning that they left their weapons and just came out and said, we want to, we are repenting. So how did these weapons get into this country? There was a time too that we learned that a, uh, some of them, you know, helicopters will be dropping foods and all those materials inside the forest. There was a time too, this man was fingered that a, his private jet or helicopter, as you may want to call it, Abdul Salami helicopter, you know, was seen distributing weapons for bandits in the forest. Ah, he came out and said, no, 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 nothing of such. He denied, he debunked that. So they were always debunked, but... Since then, nobody is talking about how these weapons get into the country because every day we begin to see these people operating at a larger scale, these bandits and the Boko Haram. So it is very, very difficult to believe them. You can't believe them. But we continue to see atrocities going on on a daily basis. Atrocities going on on a daily basis. So who are we going to be uh, uh, believing? Because... Things are just going bad, bad, bad. They will still tell you everything is fine. Even in the midst of all this nonsense, they will still tell you economy is fine. Oh, there's food, surplus of food, this and that. And in reality, that is it. That is not what it is. They will still tell you that, uh, oh, statistically, uh, our this, our whatever has gone up, our this has gone. But in reality, you can't, you can't see that. We can't see that. If the chief of army staff can come out and tell us that, uh, you know what? Chad and Niger Republic is part of Nigeria. So what do you expect? What do you think? What do you think to that? It's just really so ridiculous. To your face, like you said, they will be they will be lying. Kayamu is telling us that a uh, Buari has reduced the operation of a uh, Boko Haram in this country. That it has been reduced, just like a uh, Lai Mohammed will tell you that uh, they've been defeated technically. I think uh, this man has taken over from uh, Lai Mohammed Kiyamu because he's coming out with bold face and begin to tell us lies. So guys, uh, that's just what it is. So let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.